So, Carol, how did you and Mandy meet? We met online. All right, so now you have a menage a trois. <laughs> Hardly. <laughs> Maude doesn't like Carol. It's funny, I can't figure out if she's a bigot or if she's just jealous. You know she went sneaking behind my back to try to scare Carol away? To save my soul, if I understand correctly. Excuse me. Don't run away, I'm talking to you. Maud is my savior, you see. She's been looking out for me in more ways than one, but you got a little carried away, didn't you? So what is it? Am I indecent? No, you're lost. Richard, can you show us some moves? <laughs> I just want to see you loosen up. You're a beautiful young woman. And you should have some fun while you still can. I've got more important things on my mind. Oh, yes, of course. Well, how could mere human frivolity possibly compete with the Heavenly Father's warm heart pulsing? Let's go. Let's go. Are you, Maud? Yes. Dear God, it takes nothing special to mop up after the decrepit and the dying. <laughs> Can you feel that? Yep. 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 But to save a soul, that's quite something. Bless Amanda's body and bless her mind, which is shrouded in darkness. When you pray, do you get a response? It's like he's physically in me. It's how he guides me. And he's just there. <laughs> he's everywhere. Maud is looking out for me, you see. To save my soul, if I understand correctly. You must be the loneliest girl I've ever seen. I just want to see you loosen up. I've got more important things on my mind. Ah! Maud, he isn't real. This is life and death on another level. Oh, yes, of course. Never waste your pain. Never waste your pain. Mm -hmm.